In the video today, I'm going to help you guys learn how to master prompting inside Nano Banana. Why? Well, there's just nothing more annoying than actually talking to AI and it just does the opposite of what you actually want it to. But when you're master prompting, we're going to fix that problem so you never have to experience it again. Let's get into the good stuff. We're going to start off today by looking at what is a prompt. And then when we've learned that, we're going to go on to how to master prompting for Nano Banana. So what is a prompt? Well, simply put, it's how you talk to AI to get what you want. Think of it like a conversation where your words are the instructions for AI. So it's literally that simple. That's what a prompt is. It's just your conversation with AI. And the way you have a conversation is going to determine if AI understands what you're saying or not. So let's move on to how to master prompting now inside Nano Banana. There are two main key areas that people focus on when using AI image generators. One is image generation, which is self-explanatory. And number two is going to be editing images. Now there are lots more things that people use AI for, but these are the main two that we're going to focus on today in the video. So first off, let's look at image generation. So for image generation, there is a specific formula. This is subject plus action plus environment plus art style plus lighting plus details. Now that sounds like a mouthful, doesn't it? But I assure you that this is really simple. And I'm actually going to provide you some examples in a moment so you can see for yourself just how easy it is to use. And then you can see the results that you get. And you're never going to look back. You are going to use this formula moving forward because it's so flipping simple. So let's take a look at how to actually use this. Inside Google Gemini Flash 2.5, what we're going to do is we're going to start by making sure that we have Nano Banana selected. You've just got to choose it here from the Tools drop down. When we've done that, we're going to add in a prompt which matches this formula. And this is the prompt that we're going to look at. So looking at this prompt, let's follow the formula so that you can see exactly how this matches. So first off, we have subject. In the prompt, this is a young woman with freckles. Next, we have action is what they're doing in the image. So the woman who's the subject is smiling thoughtfully and sitting on a bench. Next up, we have environment. So the environment that she's in is this cozy calf. Next up, we're going to focus on the art style. Art style depends on the style of the image that you want to create. Now, if you look at this example, you can see I've gone with shot on a Canon 5D Mark V. Now, this is because I want my art style or kind of image to be producing the same result as it would be if it was shot through this camera. And AI can actually do that. And specifically, Nano Banana is very good at picking out these details. Next up is lighting. Now I've kept this simple. I've gone with natural light and this matches her sitting on the window seat in the cozy calf, which is the environment. Finally, the details that I want to add, which is the end part of the formula, is warm and inviting. And here we go. So it's generated this image here. And you can see that it's picked out every specific part of the formula. The woman smiling thoughtfully, sitting by the window in a cozy calf, shot with a Canon 5D with natural lighting and it's warm and inviting. Every specific detail that I've added, Nano Banana has followed. Now this is because we're using this specific formula and it's not me making this up. If you were to actually go into Google Gemini and you were to ask it, what is the best prompt to use for AI image generators, it would tell you that this is one of the best formulas. So this is coming from the actual model itself. It's saying, communicate with me this way and you'll get the best results. Now we're going to use another example so that you can see this is not just a one off, but this is something that you can repeat again and again. So this is the font that we're going to go for this time. Let's press go and have a look at our result. And here we go. So you can see by looking at this image here, let's just make it larger, that we have covered everything that we put once again in that formula. 
So this is further proof that actually using this formula will create the thing that you're looking to create. Now what I will do to make it easy for you, because if this is new to you, it might be a little bit complex. What I'll do is I'll actually leave in the description of the video your own prompt sheet formula. So if you want, you can just look back at that to create whatever you wanna create using Nano Banana. Now next up, we're gonna look at editing images. Now this is another very popular thing that AI image generators are used for. This is the editing formula. So we've got action or change, specific element to change, the desired style effect and the relevant details. So this has changed slightly compared to the formula that we'd use for image generation. But it's important that we use this specific formula for editing images because this will give us the best result for this. Now, one of the most important things to focus on is action words. And there are five action words to really focus on. Add, change, make, remove, and replace. Now, why are these so important to focus on? Well, I have spent days and days and days on Google Nano Banana, and I have found that these are the five best action words that you can use so it understands exactly what you want it to. So if you follow these five action words in this formula, you'll get great results. So let's start off with an image here of a house. And I'm just gonna start by changing the sky in the image. So focus on the right action word here to use for changing the sky or replacing the sky. And you can see that both of those words are in my prompt. This is the original image that I wanna change. I wanna replace the sky and I wanna replace it with another sky. So this is the prompt that I've used. Replace the sky in the image with a light blue sky and fluffy white clouds. And then the detail here is photorealistic. Now, if you look at the formula in that guide that I'll provide, you'll see that that's the formula which has outputted this result right here. And we have a blue sky, we have a gray edge, the sky here is not going over the house, and we have fluffy white clouds. So it's done exactly, once again, what we wanted it to but I want to change the sky and make it a lighter blue. So I'm going to ask it to do that by using this prompt. And then when we open this image up, you can see that it's done what I've asked. It's actually made the sky a lighter blue. So I've used that action word at the beginning, replace, and I specifically said what I want it to replace. And it's really important to keep these things specific because if you don't, the AI image generation and Nano Banana in this case won't understand what you want it to do. Now I released a video a few days ago which you guys have obviously been watching and it's doing really well so a big thank you to everyone that's supporting me here on the channel but what I want to say is quite a few people in the comments were saying that they'd experienced an annoying, prob annoying problem while using Nano Banana and that problem is that when they want to change clothes on someone or they want to add clothes to someone it actually changes the face of the person. Now this is true because I've experienced this myself. So what I did is I went away yesterday and spent hours trying different things and I found a way to actually get around this so that you can change clothes on people or you can add clothes to people without their face changing. Do you wanna see how to do it? Well, let's have a look. So once again, we have to start with specific words and we start with an action word here and the action word is going to determine what happens in the image. So we've got this picture of this woman here. I want to change her white top and I want to replace it with this black t-shirt. So what would the prompt be? Well, it's so much simpler than you think, but it's just saying the specifics. So in this case, let's have a look. So here's the prompt that I used. Replace the woman's white top. So replace is the action word with a black t-shirt. The black t-shirt is the other image that I've uploaded. So once again, we've been specific, we've used one of those action words, one of the five that I said, replace the woman's white top specific with the black t-shirt in the image. Super simple, but AI should understand what to do. So let's have a look what happened. 
and here we can see the result. So let's just zoom in, open it up here, and you can see that we have the same woman in the image, same face, no weirdness going on there, and she's wearing that black t-shirt. Now surely it couldn't be this simple, right? But it is. You can see it's the same woman here. There's no changes to her face at all. And now she's wearing this black t-shirt. But I don't just want to leave it there. Let's try a more complicated test here to show you that it's not a one-off. So with this, I wanted to take this picture and this picture here has two people in it. It's not one that it's got to look at AI, it's two. I want to change the woman at the front. I want to get rid of her pink jacket and I want to make her wear a dress. In particular, this red dress here. Now there's so much more going on because AI has got two people, so it's got to choose the right person. It's got to actually make sure the dress is showing arms as well because it's got cutoff points there. So it's got loads more computations to make. And more importantly, we want it to keep the face the same. So let's have a look at how we got on with this one. Here's the prompt. Replace the woman's pink top. So once again, that action word there, replace. And then we want to replace the woman's pink top, specific color, with the red dress. And here's the result. Now, my mind was blown when I saw the result of this for the first time. Why? Because it's the simplest, smallest prompt you could think of, but all I did was I ensured I was specific. And this has continued to work for me each time. But if you look at the image here, it looks really good. In fact, the woman's face is the exactly same. The woman in the background looks the same and she's wearing this red dress and now she's got arms and skin where there wasn't skin and everything looks great. The only thing that looks a bit weird is the front of the woman's dress in the background has disappeared. She now has a leg showing, which is odd, but I'll take it because everything else is correct and we can go in and edit things like that by using those five action words. So I want you guys to go and try this if you've been experiencing this problem and hopefully, like me, you're going to see just how easy it is to fix this issue. So in this video, you've learned how to master prompting inside Nano Banana for image generation, editing images, and also that bonus thing there where if you want to replace clothes, you now can do that without affecting the face. Now, I understand for some people, you might be thinking, well, I'd like to learn more prompting for different areas, and I'd like to show you how to do that, but it's very difficult to do it all in one video. So if it's something you like, I can always make a future video on that. But most importantly, I wanted to make a video potentially on ChatGPT versus Nano Banana for image generation. I think quite a few of you would be interested, but if that's something you do want to watch, please just leave a comment letting me know and say, yes, that's something I'd watch. And if enough of you say, yes, I can make that video for you and I'll bring that out in the next few days. Guys, thanks for supporting the channel again. Please hit like, hit the notification bell if you haven't yet. Have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next video.